Hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and P.L. Combs Asian Art in Gloucester, Massachusetts, and now Bitamountlive.com. As many of you know, we've been working on a platform. We started it last summer, last July, trying to develop a platform, a seller platform for Asian art dealers uh, to, to, put their, to put their goods out there, to let collectors find them in a friendly atmosphere for collectors to come and buy things. Uh, we, we let all of you know, and we asked for your advice. What did you want? What would you like to see in a website uh, that sold uh, online the, the what you would like to see what you don't want to see we got hundreds of suggestions we got phone calls from people with good ideas and they were all very much appreciated and we tried very hard to incorporate them all into what we've built here okay uh, we heard very loud and clear you don't want to see fakes copies and reproductions on here and I agree totally as you know we spend a lot of our time talking about fakes and copies in the market today they're not going to be allowed that's all there is to it and as many of you know we're quite good at spotting copies and if we see something that doesn't look right we're going to tell the seller and we're going to yank the thing all right um, we want people to uh, have plenty of options on how to pay we want dealers to have options on how they want to get paid for their goods we're not going to force you into some crazy program uh, you know some sort of you know the way eBay has lately with this silly managed payments business you can accept credit cards you can accept uh, uh, you know PayPal checks whatever you want or whatever you want and as far as the costs and fees goes it's free to join Stores for sellers can be set up for free. There are no monthly selling fees. There's no seller's fees uh, uh, for creating listings or anything like that. The, uh, there's no buyer's premium. The only fee that we're going to charge is a flat 8% on the price of the item sold. Um, unlike what's going on now, it seems to be an infection uh, across the web with selling sites where they're starting now to charge commissions on shipping costs. They're starting to charge commissions on, on sales taxes and all that. We're not doing that. If you collect sales taxes and, and, you, and shipping is expensive, as we all know, especially for expen uh, antiques uh, when you're doing it globally, there's no reason in the world we should charge a fee for that. Just for the item sold and only when it sells and is paid for. And we think that's pretty fair. Um, the buyers can come on here. They can open an account. Opening an account is very, very easy. Uh, there's no, no hurdles to go over. If you've opened an account anywhere else on the Internet, which 99% of you have, it's the same thing. It's, just, it's, it's, it's an email address, password, fill out your uh, profile, submit, and then when you buy something, you'll be given options on how you want to pay for it, and um, you just enter those that information at that time, and uh, that'll be it. It's all it's all explained. We're going to have some videos on the site over in the uh, in the margins here. There's a help and information uh, section here, and on the margins of these pages on the right-hand side, but we'll have some videos on how to set up things and how to go about it. It's all very simple, and I hope you like it. All right, we put a lot of work into this, and we're always interested in hearing what your thoughts are, changing it should be made as you know we've made many changes over on the bitamount.com site over the years 99 percent of them came from suggestions from users uh, because that's that's just the way it should be and you're going to see um, under the help and information section research and lookup uh, page for example you're going to find uh, a, a good link right over to the uh, reference catalogs the auction catalogs that you you all use over on the bitamount site so often we're going to have uh, the auction price uh, list on here we're going to have the uh, museum lists on here so you can go through them all under the research Research section. We have a section here a little bit on tips on shipping, tips on photography, and so forth. Uh, we want this to be a very friendly place for people to do, do some business, to buy and sell, collect, um, and so forth. If you're a seller currently, um, we're, we're recommending right now that uh, you only put up fixed price items. We want them until we can do the auctions. The site is, due, is, is able to do auctions, but we don't want to do auctions until we have enough traffic to make them successful. All right, and, you, and we're going to monitor the traffic very, very carefully. And when we think we're there, it'll be pretty obvious. And then we can start uh, encouraging people to try maybe a, a small auctions or maybe we'll do an event auction or something like that. But the shop side, you can put fixed price items up, uh, do your descriptions and so forth. The, the boxes have a lot of options and they're explained in the video we've created. Uh, some extra options, uh, things that you can do that will help you sell better. And... Um, if you're selling uh, items right now, if you have some of your items currently listed on other sites, list them over here. I think I think you, if they sell here, you're going to save a lot of money on commissions, and you'll start to build a base. On your store, if you're a seller, you can create your own profile. You can put links to your own website on there. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. We're not, we're not putting limits on people. We want people to have an open market. And... Um, We'll see how it goes, okay? Thanks so much, and uh, join us. There's a link below uh, if you want to go over and check the site out. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.